Peggy 18. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Banner Saga here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host, Max. On today's episode, we will continue where we left off. We have sufficient amount of supplies, hopefully. We have some fighters, we have some clansmen. We have normal morale, which I would definitely love to increase. But yeah. Uh, we are gonna leave the camp and we will continue our journey to try and escape the enemy. And I will also try to learn how to pronounce these names. You're only just outside the village when two men in red approach. My name is Hogan, says one, gesturing to the other. My brother is Mogan. Okay, really creative. Many from the village wish to join you from Frostwolf. A third man, exuding rage, charges up to you from the group. Shut your mouth, Hogan, he screams. Are we gonna have a scuffle? What is going on? Town leader. These bastards don't speak for us. They've been trying to divide the village since you got here. True, you can keep whoever wants to stay and die. Okay, these are actually twin brothers apparently. The rest of us will go with the reasonable people of Skog. I'll have you both gutted before I let the half of the village desert. Behind the angry villager, a mob of armed dogs have appeared. All furrowed bros and nervous stares. You both know what will happen to the rest of us in the fields if the fields are abandoned. Nobody leaves. You both know what will happen to the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. There won't be anything to tend to once the dredge arrive. Let your people decide on their own. I don't want anything to do with... Okay, we definitely cannot say these two options. If we do this, there can be combat. So I will go with the first option. Dredge my ass. I don't know what the scam is this time, Hogan, but you got two choices. Get back to work or I'm finally putting you in the ground. Mogan, what do you say? Mogan drones his axe slowly, followed by Hogan. Despite their confidence, the brothers are significantly outnumbered. I think I make a poor farmer. Okay, if we settle, settle this yourselves, don't get involved. I won't kill men for defending their homes, side with the villagers. Ivor, let's make this a fair fight, side with the brothers. Okay, so here's the thing. We arrive to a town. We purchase some provisions. Some of them want to leave. Some of them don't want them to leave. Um... We are a terrible, terrible visitors to this village. If we don't get involved, I'm quite sure the two will definitely die. If I side with the villagers, I'm quite sure that the two brothers will have to stay. And if we side with the two brothers, I'm not sure if there are chances they will join our ranks. God damn it. I really don't know. Wish there was like a fourth or fifth option here, but obviously this is trying to push me in a certain way. I'm just terrified that since these two are like, I don't know, twins or something, if we would side with the villagers, one of them will probably die and then the other one will try to chase after us or some weird bullshit like that. And uh, 
if we side with the brothers, the entire town might try to attack us. So, ah, oh, man. I'm gonna probably not get involved. You step back as one of the flux lunges forward and is caught in the ribs by Hogan's axe. The air soon rings with the sound of screams and axe heads against shields. Four men lie dead on the ground before the others run. You hurt Mogan? No, we should have done that years ago. Nah, can't go around killing for no good reason. This was a good reason, okay? Uh, the brothers head back into the village and soon many of the villagers have joined your caravan. Hogan introduces you to his young son and wife, all grins unconcerned about the fact that you never agreed to let them come. You don't bother arguing before long, you set out again. Okay, the problem here is that if we keep getting too many clansmen, we will be burning through the supplies like crazy. A left marches quietly alongside the caravan, a little distance since leaving the village. When you stop for a rest, Adif approaches you both. Alet, I have something for you. Adif has gathered up a long banner from the caravan and smiles warmly as she passes it to Alet. What's this about? I was hoping you'd sew up the banner with everything that has happened since we left Scar. Come find me another time, Brook, and we'll talk. Dad, are you the chieftain now? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Guess I'll have to find out later. It might look that way. Oh, then that means... But Eve has been teaching me how to solve. She speaks pretty highly of you. Can we read the part about mom? You nod on the banner. Has been sown the story of the families who have lived in Scar throughout the years, just as it's done on every banner in every clan. I wish she was here. The section of the banner about your family is short, but Olette has been sewing in colorful design. Why do you say that? So she doesn't have to deal with all of this. Dredge leaving home and... Why didn't you stop those men from killing each other in the village? I mean, if it's okay to ask. It wasn't my decision to make. I didn't want blood on my hands. It was the best of some bad options and it's, yeah, I didn't want the blood on my head. Let's, let's go with that. Deciding what happens to other people, I'm glad I'm not you. I wouldn't know what to do. It's not exactly my calling either. I think you're doing a good job. She hugs you. You spend the rest of your time together sewing new verses into the banner. For better or worse, the story of Scorch is your burden now. Okay, so... What are our options for heroes? Oh, okay. So we can actually add the two brothers into our ranks. So we can maybe do something like this. Uh, so that's 10 armor, 9 strength. That's 10 armor, 8 strength. 8 armor, 10 strength. Okay, let's go like this for now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My bad, my bad. Uh, I can equip one of those trinkets. So... Can you actually... No. Uh, does not have the level for that. Okay.
Let's go talk to her. How are you doing? Odd. I'm alright. Not at first. Sometimes when a loved one dies, people say it doesn't sink in for a while. It sunk in for me right away. People tell me I'm a strong woman. It's funny. My father named me Odive before I was even born. He wanted a boy so badly. Strong woman. What does that even mean? Uh, this is a horrible option. This is a bad option. Let's go with people look up to you. Don't take this the wrong way, but I don't want to be known for handling my feelings. If I feel nothing about my husband dying, people think I'm strong. If I cry because my insides feel like they're on fire, I'm weak. Why does that feel so backwards? I'm sorry, Rook. It's been hard. You're not sure what to say. In the many years you've known the chieftain's wife, this is probably the most you've ever talked. You asked me to come find you. Yes, it's about the banner. I thought about it a long time. He asked me to give it to you, you know, if something happened. Why me? Your family. You should carry it. What would you have done? Huh? Why me? He, oh, he always depended on you, Rook. It should be mine. I could carry it, but I thought about why he named you. I get it. They won't follow a woman. Families would leave, our banner would be divided. You're probably right. It's not just about our small town. What happens the first time we need something from another clan? How will that go? And the first time someone thinks they can take advantage of us. I think this is what has to happen. I'll do my best. I think so too. Listen, I know I dragged this out. The truth is my husband and I could never have a child. I don't want our banner to end here. It'll be safe with you and Alette. I know you're going to take care of her. She puts her hand on your shoulder as she heads back to the camp. Okay. I would like to try some training probably. Uh, I want to see how I can work with the archers and the rest of our soldiers here. I'm going to try to use Agil and Hogan, Adif, Alet, Ivor and Rook and uh, let's just see how this will work. The, the idea which I'm going for uh, would be some form of a uh, like chess pattern. So we would have a melee combatant here, a ranged unit here, a ranged unit here, melee here, melee here. So that we would kind of uh, change things around. Because if we have her over here... I'm not really sure what are her chances of survival. And if we were to move you here, she should be guarded. Okay, no. Uh, let's do this. Let's go like this. Uh, they have an enemy ranged unit. Let's see what will happen here. Uh, he's definitely out of range, but so are we. Let's 
T. Can you? Okay. Uh, what are the options here? I'm actually thinking I would rather move here because here we have two melee combatants while here is only one. So the Hogar or Hogar uh, should be able to deal with him. And also since he has shield he has higher armor so he should be able to deal with the ranged attacks too. So let's try to move here. And let's end the turn. She needs to move closer, and that's an ranged attack, okay, can you attack, and take down two armor points, okay, they have the shield wall, can you actually manage to I don't want to get too close to him because then he will not go for him. But if I get her like somewhere here, I want to know if I can attack her. Unfortunately, she is out of range, so let's end her turn. The shield wall has been broken here. Let's take down that shield. He should not be able to attack. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Uh, let's move you here and let's do this. You can definitely take down the armor. Let's take down some strength. Okay, she will now try to attack. She is repositioning. She's going after our chieftain. Okay, no effect. This is bad. They have the shield wall up and running, so... Not really sure if we can do something about that. Let's go with the ability, see what that will do. Definitely need to move you in here and battering ram. Okay, that was definitely a stupid idea because I have just gave him access to our ranged attacker. No, she is too far. Can you attack? Absolutely nobody. Okay. Oh, uh, bloody flail. A series of strikes. Let's go at this guy. Gonna try to pursue the archer. Yeah. We are gonna try to attack him. Once again, shield wall. Which is actually strange that even with the archer in there, it gives them the added bonus. Can you still attack them? 
Yeah, unfortunately nothing will happen. This armor is too damn strong. If we do this, that should kill him. He is down. So we need to seriously deal with the enemy archer, because this is not good. This will kill him. They're now going... Why would he not go actually after her? That's interesting. Okay, so the enemy, when it comes to humans, will come together and they will form the shield walls for added defense. Now, I do wonder. One thing, um, if we would go with these two guys, if they would stick together, if we can replicate the process that they are using. Interesting. We can promote Rook, so let's do that. And we can increase his stats. Uh... Let's go with this, and let's go with... Okay. And because of this, he should now have access to like a better trinket. So let's go with this, so that we can potentially equip... Yeah, she definitely can use this. Okay. I still need to wait for this to be used. Okay, so let's see how much this will change. This time we are dealing with two enemy ranged attackers. I'm gonna actually put them over here. Okay. So I'm gonna move you in here and you should be able to attack the enemy. Should take care of his armor. That was some brutal attack. We're gonna definitely try to close the distance. Can you attack him? Unfortunately, no. Can you attack? Yes. So she has better range. And this is a problem. Let's attack the ranged units here. I'm gonna actually try to join this position. Can you attack? Yeah, so we can replicate the process. We're gonna move here and do some damage. We're going after our big boy. But we should manage. Uh, move here and uh, attack like so. This will leave her again. Oh, 
them to attack as well. Okay. These two have still the added bonus and the defense, which is why I assume uh, they are attacking the big guy. Okay, wow, this dude has really some cool ability to take apart our shields. I'm not a huge fan, but let's get rid of him. So we are at zero armor. I'm gonna move here in order to obstruct this dude from being able to attack our archers directly. Wow, okay. Not really sure what sort of damage you will be able to deal here. So you can still attack and finish him off. He will most likely be finished off, but we should be able to... No? No. Should be able to get close to the enemy ranged units, hopefully. If I move in here... Them. Okay. Start closing in. Unfortunately, out of reach. I have to move you in closer. Out of reach. Yet again. Now they're gonna shift their attention to our ranged units, so we're gonna have to get our rook in between their place or this position here. If I walk you in here... Uh, no. Okay. I'm gonna have to be careful when it comes to the combat because I keep clicking on things and the result is that uh, more than likely I do something super idiotic. Okay, can I use the horn and put the points on to him? Fortunately, I don't think so. Oh, okay, so it's only the active unit. Oh, okay. Still trying to learn this. Sorry, gang. Ranged. She's gone. She's gonna try to probably attack one of them. Reflection. Okay, one of our brothers has finally fallen. Can you attack? I'm super confused. So at least we know that we can replicate the shield wall with the two brothers. But... Uh, Huh. Sure, let's promote you. 
I would actually love to see increase in your range because so far, princess, you are doing just horrible job. Um, let's go like this. And we should have one more promotion available. And I would love to see you do this. And let's increase this as well. Okay, uh, so obviously the tricky situation into which I'm running, and I do apologize that I'm basically just doing the training grounds here, I'm still trying to get a hang of the combat scenario, is the variety in ranges uh, which the ranged units can utilize and therefore support our melee combatants. But th this will be interesting. Okay, I don't want to, however, end up in another battle. So how in the heck do I leave this? Because I don't want to fight anymore. Is, is there a way to get back to the camp? P please don't tell... Oh my god. Really? There's no way for me to leave this place. Okay, uh, so let's try one more training engagement and I will probably finish off the episode there because I think this is uh, enough as it is. Holy fudgesicle. Okay, this is pretty bad. I hate whenever this happens. Uh, four enemy ranged units versus whatever the heck this is. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's four. That's three. Yeah, it won't be better. So if I were to move in here, I should be able to deal some damage. Interesting. I did not even know this this lady. Okay, uh how do you wanna address this with ketchup or mustard? We're gonna move you here and end the turn. Let's go for reduction of the armor. That's pretty brutal, but okay. Let's reduce the armor, because when our Varl will have his turn, he will try to go after the enemy archer. Okay, beautiful deflection there. And if we do this... Really nice. A rook is somehow surrounded with archers. And I really don't want to break apart my team composition too heavily. If I go like this, he is dead. Quite sure she will attack. Okay, not the archer. Interesting. Uh, sure, let's do five points of damage here. We'll move on to his position. You will move here, and you, my dear friend. No. No. Attack, and 8 points. <gasps> it's Archer down. Try to attack... Ah! Archer. She will try to attack her. <laughs> Uh, 
Damn it! With the deflections. Okay, uh, how do we wanna do this? 8 7, 6 2, 6 2, 5 7. If you were to move here and you were to attack. What is up with these deflections? Okay, move them here and attack. Thankfully, we did not see any deflection this time. So one of our units has unfortunately been defeated. No, no. I really hate the fact that the combat uh, just consists of me trying to click on their feet. Really not a huge fan. Really not a huge fan. Because there are lots of options for misclicking and doing dumb stuff. And that's just not good. Okay, you are definitely moving away. And can you provide... Beautiful. Oh, let's see. Can you... Well, let's go after him. <clears throat> it's actually interesting that they are using the ranged units to move this much around. I would believe it would be more efficient just to keep them in yeah. one place. And have them attack from range. Yeah. Let's go after no the archer. Yeah. Okay, uh if I would go here, I would utilize one of those points. Uh so let's do this. And can you still attack? Yes. Okay. Let's move you away so that he cannot attack. And let's take down two more points of your armor. Can you deal two points of strength damage? That's a deflection, so that would be no. Okay, we have the shield wall up and running. Should be able to kill the archer. Three points of armor there. Unfortunately, he's unable to move in between them. So, in order to like get into this space, so let's move him here. Let's end his turn. I'm actually surprised the AI did not decide to go after her with three points of strength. See any down. Let's move you one. Point away. Uh, Let's crack this shield. Okay. Let's move you like so. And the big guy will finish off the job. Okay, so I'm starting to feel like I'm improving, but there's always room for more improvement. Anyhow, uh, yeah, th this has taken quite a lot of time, these training simulations. 
So most likely what will happen here is I'm just gonna stop with more training and we'll just continue to head out. Okay, how do we want to do this? We want to do this and this. And I really don't want to promote you even more right now. It would be nice, but that would cost me 10 points here. And if I would do that, I would be left with 2 points, so that's that's definitely not good. Also, Rook can be promoted, and that's another 10 points, so no. Uh, we're gonna have to grab some more points eventually, and then we will promote them. But, yeah, I do apologize if this episode was more filled with, like, training simulations, but sometimes that has to happen. On the next episode, we will leave the camp and continue our journey, so hopefully you will consider subscribing to the channel to know when that episode is published. I also publish episodes on a weekly basis, so if you would subscribe to the channel, you would know when that happens. And that will be it for now. I'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day, and hopefully I will see you in the comment section or at the next one. Also, tips and tricks for this game, definitely appreciate it in the comments, so keep, keep them coming. Or if you have any video on YouTube which you can recommend that will not spoil any of the story for me, and will just provide me with some basic tips and tricks, I will appreciate it. Thank you for watching, bye bye.